so this is a video about how to open up a Navy Federal business bank account. First off, let me just say Navy Federal is by, by far one of the best banks I've ever banked with, like hands down. They are very generous. They give out high limits and they're just on point with everything. If you need funding for your business, a business credit card, like they have you, they got you hands down. So in order to open up a Navy Federal business bank account, you need to be a member of Navy Federal. If you're not a member of Navy Federal, you cannot open up a business bank account with them. So once you become a member, you can open up your business bank account with them and just get that ball rolling with them. And also you can start building that relationship with them because Navy Federal, they're very heavy on relationship banking. That's how you're gonna get those high limit credit cards. That's how you're gonna get funding for your business, build that relationship, the more you're building that relationship, the more they see deposits going in and out of your bank account, even your direct deposit. If you have a direct deposit going to that bank account, that is perfect because that's going to build your internal score with Navy Federal and also improve that banking relationship that you have with Navy Federal. So you need $250 to open up a business checking account with Navy Federal. Put that $250 in there, you're good, because you need it to start up. Now, you don't always have to have $250 in that account 24 seven. You just need that $250 to open up your business bank account with Navy Federal. In the application process, they'll ask you for your stated income or how much money you're projected to make within that year. They'll also ask you for your business name, your EIN number. So make sure you have all that in order and right there in front of you when you're applying. Also, they're gonna ask you what kind of business you have. So I've said this in a lot of my videos, but let me just tell you all some high risk businesses. I can automatically think of three, credit repair, Forex, or you say you're a trader. Those three words are turn offs for banking institutions, financial institutions, they don't like those three things at all, period, hands down. So if you say you're one of those three, you may not get approved. You're probably not going to get approved. So you can yeah, you're like you can kind of dress it up a little bit or disguise it as something else. But I've seen people get denied when they say, I have a credit repair business and it's an instant boop, denial. So I would just be careful if you have any one of those three businesses. Those are very high risk businesses and turn offs for banks. They'll also ask you a few general questions throughout the application process. You'll disclose your military affiliation. Now they'll verify all this information that you give them, your EIN number, your LLC. Also, you can provide your website if you want to provide your website. I did not provide a website when I went through the application process and I was approved fine with no problem. I didn't have a website to give them at the time, so I didn't put down a website, but you can put down a website if you want them to consider that as well, or just take that into consideration when they are making a decision whether to approve your application for a business bank account. So one big thing during the application, they'll ask you if your business provides any of the following money orders, check cashing, money transactions. There's a chance now if you check one of these boxes that you could be denied or a representative may call you to ask more questions and get more details because these types of businesses are considered high risk. You scroll down they'll ask you what kind of business you have and normally this question weeds out a lot of people like i said those high risk businesses will get you an automatic denial um yeah this question normally weeds out a lot of people from even getting approved so they ask this question for a reason they want to know what kind of business you have what you got going on, like what you're working with. So I would just make sure to answer that question with a lot of consideration.
you go through the application process, they'll let you know fairly soon if you've been approved for a business bank account. I know for me, it was fairly simple. Once I was approved, I hurry up and move $250 from my personal checking account to my business checking account because I need that $250 just to open up the account in the first place. So it was a fairly simple process. Like I said, I love Navy Federal. After I opened up my business checking account with Navy Federal, I opened up my business savings account with Navy Federal. And you just need $250 to open up that bank account, which is very low compared to other institutions or other banks. For instance, Bank of America, I saw some of their requirements for their business bank account, and I was just like very just turned off. So you have to always maintain $250 in your business check-in account. If you go under to, if you have under $250 in your business bank account, that's okay. They're not gonna penalize you or anything. Also, another good thing about Navy Federal is there are no monthly maintenance fees. Like that is hands down like a really good plus. I know for me, I love that. I'm like, you know, cause so many other like big banks, they'll like charge you to hold your money. Navy Federal doesn't do that, which that's why I love Navy. So if you ever need help or if you have any questions, Navy Federal's customer service is really good. So you can always call them up. I've called them up every time like I have a question and they're very responsive. They're very knowledgeable and they're courteous and they're kind. So that's also like a big plus for Navy Federal. Let me know how your experience is with Navy Federal. I would love to hear you all's experience. If you comment below, tell me about Navy Federal, tell me your experience with Navy Federal. I would just love to engage with all of you all. So until next time, I'll see you all soon.